millions of times each and every day. And you're about to meet the man at least partially responsible for Nintendo's popularity. He's Howard Phillips, also known as Mr. Nintendo, and for good reason. An argument could be made that Howard is responsible for making Nintendo America's best-selling Christmas toy. It's his job to test every Nintendo game that comes out. Jim Murray has his story. Saved. Got it. Toasted. Oh, big trouble for Mario. Whoa! Toasted again. Mario has a long journey ahead. Before he can rescue the beautiful princess, he must travel through eight kingdoms, where he'll fight monsters and dodge deadly cannonballs. And with this guy on his side, Mario's bound to win. Howard Phillips does. He always gets the girl. Everybody knows Mario by now, but I helped, uh, helped develop that game and tailor it to the U.S. marketplace. It's a lot of fun. Mario's a neat character to work with. But children all over the country think Howard is a pretty neat character himself. I am Game Master for Nintendo, and that means I play all the games that we come out with. Um, I help develop all the games and basically make sure that Nintendo makes his, the games as fun as possible. And what you want to do is fly around and pick up things, and there's gravity. That's right. It's Howard's job to make sure we have fun playing Nintendo. Uh, most people don't think that I actually get paid for doing it, but I do. It's serious business. It really is. Hi, this is Julia at Nintendo. And you've got to seriously wonder how Howard got this great job. I started working in the warehouse pushing boxes around. Uh, I personally moved all the Donkey Kong games out of Nintendo to around the, to around the country. And there's about 60,000 of them that I loaded, offloaded from one truck and then loaded onto another truck. Um, so that's how I got started at Nintendo, but things progress quickly from there. Drop that monkey. Howard became fast. expert at Nintendo and was in fact the first person in the country to beat Mario at his own game. It didn't take long for the company to see that the redhead on the loading dock had something special. In no time, his charm and skill landed him the title Official Game Master. It's a job Howard feels he was born to do. When I was a kid, I was the littlest kid on the block, um, which meant I did a lot of tagging along, which meant I had to kind of create my own entertainment a lot of the times because the bigger kids weren't looking to entertain me. That's how Howard says he learned the true meaning of fun. Fun is kind of a, a, a universal concept that involves a lot of different things like... And this year, part of Howard's job for Nintendo is getting the word out that fun isn't just for kids. What games do you play? Oh, uh, Mario 3, you know, uh -huh. my kids play. Uh -huh. you know, Did you they... beat it yet? What? Did you beat Mario well, 3 yet? I didn't have a chance to beat them yet. Why not? What? Have you used any tricks on them? No, my kids beat me. It used to be the fact that adults were very stoic and didn't want to have too much fun, I think, but they're starting to loosen up a lot more now in the, in the 70s, 80s, and, and now in the 90s. And, uh, I take it you played this before. Um, yeah, actually, I helped help work on bit. the design of it. And when it comes to gameplay in particular, right now about 50% of the new systems that we sell go to adults. They've suddenly realized that it's okay to have a little bit of fun. <laughs> oh, Howard. Howard's role is crucial to Nintendo's goal this year, capturing 80% of the sales of the entire U.S. video game industry. If successful, by the end of 1990, there could be a Nintendo system in one out of every three American homes. Ooh. Good job. Giving Howard Phillips what might just be the well, world's neatest so job. The funnest part of working at Nintendo and working in entertainment is, is getting to be face to face with the people who are enjoying the, the fruits of your labor. And that means, to me, talking with kids or adults who are playing the games. That's the most fun part. <laughs>